Francois Kamenzuli, Howdy Doody, Margaret O'Brien, evening everyone, evening to you, evening to you. Um, how are we all? Evening Jeannie Kyle, Lynn Benarius, it's a beautiful name. Um, let's just get you guys up here. Good day, good day, total storm addict. How's it going over there in the Goldies? That's what I call mountains full of gold, the Goldies. Uh, has anyone checked out our vlog this evening? It's an interesting one. It's Nadia Sawala from Loose Women behind the scenes at Loose Women. Um, cancel. So I'm just pulling up the, uh, pulling up the, there we go. There she is. Look at her and her avocado and toast. I'm feeling a bit avocado -y. Avocado. I haven't bought you a present, but you can avocado. Avocado. <laughs> you can avocado. <laughs> oh, you, for some reason, your colours made the entire colour temperature of the shot change. We've been watching Oz Arts again. Oh, my God. So good. Brian A. Condon, hi from Ireland. We, we found out today that Ireland is one of our top, top countries of viewers in the world. You like us in Ireland? I wonder why. Why, is why Nadia, do you like us in Ireland? Why is Nadia dressed for winter? Are you cold? I just like to be cold in the evening. I've got... Look, can you see? Pardon? What's wrong? What can you see on the end of my tongue? Nothing. It's red. A sore? Oh, yeah, a blister. Really sore. How did you do that? I don't know, they just come, don't they, for no reason. Do they? I don't think they do. I, I generally think it's if you've chewed your finger and you've put your fingers no. somewhere bad. No. Love your Udi, Nadia, says Jane Donnelly. Where I got it from did Udi World. I get that one. I keep buying them. I buy one and then I buy one for someone else and then I buy someone one for someone else. Sky Elise, excuse me. Ozark is so good and we are just so, so enjoying it and it's just so stressful and I so don't want it to end. Emma Staple, I've had... Hang on, you need to get it Three... Over it. Did you say you've had three shakes and you're hungry? Oh. I don't find those replacement shakes. See, like, what is a replacement shake? About 250, 300 calories. That. You could have two poached eggs on toast for that. You could have a chicken breast with piles of vegetables. Laurel. Piles of vegetables. I just think it's better to have food. Laurel Nichols, we've finished Unorthodox. We're not on an episode. We've got to the end. Are you enjoying it? It's good, isn't it? Okay, so Nadia was sitting over there saying the word mandatory an awful lot. Mandatory, minute. mandatory, mandatory. Aaron C has just joined the members area. Welcome, Aaron. Binge watching all the Sunday shows and loving them. Oh, Great content. From Ireland. Thank you, Aaron. Love from Ireland. And you're from Ireland too. Wow. Why do the Irish like us? But I don't we're going to come to we Ireland love the and Irish. we're going to ask you and we're yeah. going to find out. I wish I was a drinker because then I could have Guinness over there. Uh, why were you screaming the word mandatory tonight, Nad? You were, you were shouting oh, oh. on the sofa. Yeah, trace and test and trace will become mandatory. If people do not do their civic duty, because we are asking each and every one of the wonderful British public to face their duty. How can you... And can... as a matter of civic duty, engage in the trace and test. But trace... can I ask how it can be mandatory if not everyone yeah, can have a phone? I'd like to say it's mandatory for the government to sort out the tests. Health Secretary Matt Hancock sounded the alarm as it was revealed a third of people who tested positive for COVID couldn't be contacted. How can it be a civic duty if a third no. of people can't be contacted? The no. government can make the NHS test and trace system mandatory if people with coronavirus symptoms refuse to cooperate. Speaking at the Downing Street briefing, Matt Hancock said he would not rule out enforcing the programme. It came after new figures for NHS Test and Trace, which was set up on the June the 1st, revealed 2,700 people who tested positive failed to provide information on who mm. they'd been in contact with. Well, so that's what they're talking about. Well, that is bad. Why would you not? Maybe they've been in contact with people they... Should Jennifer Ingram. Been. Well, welcome as a, as a member. Well, no, welcome, Jennifer Ingram. But welcome seriously, Jennifer why, 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 why wouldn't... OK, so on the one hand, that headline welcome sounds Jennifer. really bad that someone's man, that you know, they're going to be mandatory tests. And then you've got arseholes who won't follow up if they've got... There's no excuse, if you've got it, to not contact them, is there? 
Is there? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Is it just lackadaisicalness? Is it that people have been meeting with people they shouldn't have been meeting with? I mean, I wonder if there's this weird quirk that people don't want to say because maybe they haven't been socially distancing and they're worried if they say who they've met and then that's proven they've not been socially distancing. Ellie Proctor saying it's not working. Could it be, could it be because actually people don't believe, and this could be quite a humble, nice thing, don't believe they're important enough to be... Do you know what I mean? No. no. Important enough to be what? Well, that if it happened to you, maybe you'd be thinking, oh, well, no, they can't really mean me. Maybe I'm not part what of this. What happened to me? If I've got COVID and I'm supposed to contact the government, maybe some people are just thinking it doesn't really... It's really absolute rubbish. Involve why them. Anyone... Mark, but that's obviously what's happened. Well, okay, well then account for You've why... you spent too much time in that Account for why a think. third of people I haven't contacted. Well, it's not because they don't think that they're good enough to contact. That's a terrible idea. I think it might be. I think you underestimate. Okay, I think we need a bit of blue sky thinking here. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hold the front page. <laughs> Super duper sumo. I did see that the Spider-Man Miles Morales announcement for PS5. Do you know what that means? No, and I have no desire to. I tell you, you look just like your mum when you said that. Do you no, did wanna... that. I thought that annoys you when no, people are just resistant to... No, did that. PS5. PS5? Why are you saying weird letters and numbers? Spider-Man Miles Morales? Yeah, I know. It's... I'm not getting excited. The girls will be stupidly excited about that. That's so cool. Um, I don't understand why people haven't been contacting. Hi, Chris Perez in Florida. Hope you're well. Ooh. Um, Hi, Ellie Picard. Hi, Sandra Cheatham. Hi, Melissa Murrain. Hi, Yvonne Armstrong. Uh, Mark is right, Ned. What about? The fact that I think that probably people... Thank you, Cathy Dunn. What I mean by that is, it's... Okay, this is a huge maybe international... They're, maybe they're not Hang on, talking let me finish. about that. Let me finish. I think they are. I think Maybe what else have I been right about? I haven't I said anything else. I don't think you've been else. right about anything, so don't start getting You don't think I'm yourself. right about Just anything. Just because Cathy Dunn says you're right Kathy about something. Cathy Dunn, Dunn you're, thank you very much. I think people don't think they're part of this massive yeah, international news story. I agree with story. Emma. People have been naughty and not following the rules. It's a little bit annoying, but I kind of get it. Social distancing, lockdown, da da da, and they don't want to say they've broken the rules. So they don't want to say who they've met. Penny Wilkinson, maybe the government can actually get hold of the people. Mm -hmm. And they're blaming them. I don't think... Oh, I don't know. Mandatory test and trace. I don't, I don't see how you can make everyone test and trace if you can't contact everyone. It's all... Why are we dealing in such existential madness? How can everyone do test and trace if not everyone has an iPhone? I don't even care. <laughs> you don't even know what I just said. How can everyone not test and trace? And they haven't got an iPhone. Since you've worn that avocado outfit, you've become a right pain. Can I just ask one question? No. If you haven't got a smartphone, what phone have you got? What's it called? Well, one like Nanny Dies or like Pat's. It it's just a phone. Oh. <laughs> a mobile? I've always wondered that. Smartphone. When people, they haven't got a smartphone and people go, no, I, got, what? I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what a smartphone is. A I smartphone don't know what is a phone that does is. more than phone calls and, you oh. know, all that sort of stuff. So, smartphone but there's no is such one. thing as a phone that just does phone calls. It's called a stupid phone, someone just said there. Oh. Or a dim phone. I like that, a dim phone. Nanny die ends what? You sub. Hello. Holly Bennett, binge, binge watch watching. so many of your videos, filled my day with so much positivity. Holly Bennett, welcome. Holly there Bennett, once was a Holly Bennett, Bennett, and she watched bam, all of our bam, vlogs. Bam, ba, don't Zander forget, Gibb don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified. Our lovely friend at YouTube told us today that sometimes if you're subscribed to a lot of things, you might not get notified for everything. That was an interesting so detail. So we finally got the answer on that. I love it when Xander Gibbs swings in like Tarzan with just one big message. Fuck mandatory test. What about getting treatment for cancer patients? Thank you. Entirely, entirely agree. And that brings us on to the poor George Alagaya story you were mentioning mm. today, the newsreader. What, what's you know, the George news Alagaya, he, he had cancer, he's been yeah. living with it, and it spread and he said, they haven't told me to sort out my affairs, but it's in my lungs. And he just fought coronavirus. Fuck it out. Well, actually, he didn't get it badly. Even though he was terminal cancer, he didn't get bad coronavirus. He didn't suffer, he didn't suffer with it much. 
Um, Steph Schultz, Nadia has zoned out. Chloe Williams, hi Nadia and Mark, would I be able to have a shout out please? Not feeling great today and have spoken to no one all day would mean the world. Chloe, Chloe Williams. Williams, we are here, we are as here. are the rest of the community. Who else can send a little note Everyone to Chloe Williams? Everyone send a little message to Chloe Williams yeah. saying, hi Chloe. Hi Chloe, Chloe. Uh, do everyone click on the thumb beneath Nadia's cleavage. Beneath and my avocado. They're all for you, Chloe. All for you, Chloe. Come little on, arrows. everyone click on the thumbs up for Chloe. Give, her, give us some love. Chloe. Chloe. Oh, what was your antibody test result, Claire? She's had a result Ooh. today. Oh. Hi, Susie Offman. We will be watching Epstein. Um, Christine Devotee, sick of it all, rather be in space. I don't want to go to space. It's all right. No, no one's asking you to go, darling. I'm not going. If I could, I would. I'd go tomorrow if I could. I'd love to go to space. Hi, Chloe. Oh, look, all that love, Hi, Chloe. Hi, Kate Moore. Oh, everyone's sending you hellos. Isn't that lovely? Kath Tuggle's been doing her own green finger to help, planting seeds for her hanging baskets. Good on you. Woohoo! Because we mustn't forget, even though we feel like we've had summer, we haven't had summer. It feels like we've had summer and it's gone. Yeah. Let's have a group hug, I'd... Paul Pamela Owen, saying, come on. Come in, huddle ah, in. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Hello. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Hey, oh, kumbaya. There go. Someone's crying, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's crying, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's praying, my lord. Kumbaya. Oh, lord. Kumbaya. <laughs> I kind of wanted to say cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. <Kumba. laughs> there you go, Donna Harris, just for you. And Carla Martin. Hey! Guess what? I want to punch myself in the face with a pepper. Mark, will you stop mucking about with my peppers? <laughs> Mark, that's my minestrone. It's really annoying. <laughs> the last time I tried Mark, to get minestrone, Mark, you messed up the peppers. It's for my minestrone. My God. <laughs> it's Pamela Owen, what have you started? It's for my minestrone. <laughs> what the hell is this? Foot. <laughs> it looks like my leg. Oh, God. <laughs> God. you both been drinking, yeah, Jake Danner. Yeah, she we has. We wish. Do you mean we wish you did the other day? Yeah, but I mean, I wish I was drinking now. Go and get some then, you can. No, because I can't, because I want to be healthy and I want to be focused and I Why want to wake you... up in the morning. But if I, I would like to be not thinking about all those things and just be drinking. Why are you behaving like... I'd like to be down the pub, smoking a fag and drinking. Why are you behaving like an avocado? <laughs> She's so behaving like an avocado. I don't know why. I think it's because I fancy some avocado on toast and I don't know why. Well, why don't you go and get some? I don't know why. When is Nanny Dye coming, Xander Gibb? Good question. Saturday. She's coming Saturday. Oh, and guess what? I've got to make five guys again. Tina Walker saying, are you posh, Nadia? Do I sound or look posh? When she's not on I'm social sad. media, she's really, she talks like that, you know. I'm sad. She London. talks like that, you know. I'm a South London bird, I'm proud of it. Yeah, she is. Um, can I ask a question? And I want a yes, no answer. ASAP, guys. I want you to get press ready. quick. Pack, hover your get, finger. Hover over, over yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hover over no. Have a, a one over yet. Yeah, yeah, no. Is there going to be, as there is apparently emerging in Texas, Florida and California, is there going to be a second wave? Oh, don't be miserable. I'm not being miserable. I want to know. I don't think there is. No. Nope. Do you I think there's going to be a second wave? No. Nope. I think there's going to be little pockets of waves and then I think they're going to... Wave it. And then I think they're going to shut down and then that will go and then I don't think we're going to get another wave like before. Because don't forget, in a lot of Amer over a lot of America, there's been huge demonstrations for almost two, ten, almost two weeks. Also, many states in America didn't lock down, didn't shut down properly. Um, and we have. So, no, I don't think so. Yeah. I hope not. Joe, there was a lot of yeses. Mandy Nanny, Ripple. Well, fancy a Ripple. 
Um, you don't see ripples anymore, do I do. You? They're, they're what I call a straight-jacketed flake. Yeah, they are. Aren't they? What's a... Is there an introverted flake? Yeah, there are some... They're an of... introverted extrovert. Yeah. What, what confectionery that is no longer available would you bring back? I don't know any. Mine would be mint cracknel. I really miss mint cracknel. Isn't he a rower? So good, mint cracknel. The trouble is, the really tiny bits used to go in your fillings. I'll tell you what I always hated as a young boy. Crunchies. Remember Space Invader crisps? What do you say to an avocado who's done a good job? Uh, Bravo, Cardo. That's rubbish. That's Ashley that? Gardner said that. I like Ashley, that one. Ashley, that's bloody rubbish. Bravo Cardo. I Never should have said Bravo, Cal Bravo Cardo. It's rubbish. Love a ripple, says Julie Everts. No mess. Yeah. It's a flake without the mess, isn't it? Do you know, can I just it's say... unchaotic flake. Did you know that in the design of chocolate bars, they have what's called the drop factor? Okay. So that when you bite... Is there anything you haven't got a flaming fact on, Mark? So when that you bite into different chocolate bars, even the flake, though there are flaky bits, they have the drop factor. So they create a sort of composition within the chocolate so that it holds together that on the crunch of the teeth, a cert only a certain amount will fall to the floor. Can you put in the title, what's your favourite chocolate, and see if we get... To what's, your favorite Go on. what's your favourite... What's your favourite kind of chocolate that. on your biscuit? Test and Join trace, and will we get a second wave? I wouldn't click on that, Join Phil. a club, it club, a child, it'll turn your chisket. Join a... Nostalgic club. chocolates. Has Nostalgic anyone seen our chocolates. vlog tonight? Did anyone see our vlog? It was a goodie. It's our 18th anniversary. And it's Nadia behind the scenes at Luth Women, which lots of people are interested. Look, it's at number two in the rankings. Um, what am I doing? Put chocolate in the title. Chocolate. What's your favourite chocolate bar? Yeah. Just put that in. That's curious, isn't it? I wonder if we see loads of people come, because people want to talk about chocolate more than they want to talk about a second wave. I don't. I want, a sec I want to talk about second waves. What's your, your favourite chocolate bar? Favourite. Spending it like, it's spelling it like an American. Bar. Oh, what's if you chocolate? like a lot of chocolate in your, your biscuit, biscuit, join our club. You know when we were talking about clubs the other night, guys? Yeah, in the vlog. I, of course, had to go and buy chocolates. Bloody clubs. Have we got any chocolate anywhere? Oh, my God, those orange clubs are so good. I've got Kit Kats. Fruit and nut. Haven't we had this conversation before? Mm -hmm. People love it. Yeah, I know, but how many times can we have the same song conversation? We're just going to end up singing the same jingles and talking about the same chocolate. We loved it. You lost a whole night the other night watching. I shows. lay in bed. So go on, sing me a chocolate thing that's not a Mars a day helps you work, rest and play. Sing me another different. You one. are so annoying. You're one of those really sort of annoying people at parties that sits there and asks other people to perform like puppies. No, you sing one. Okay, it's just you don't usually like me singing. I hate you singing, but if that's the only order well, of the I'm day, happy to sing. crack on. I'm very happy to sing. Go on, eh? Give me mint crack, no, and I don't care. Give me mint crack, no, and I don't care. Give me mint crack, no, and I don't care. Give me mint crack, no, because I don't care. A finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. A, a finger, finger of fudge, fudge is just enough to give it time to eat. It's full of weathery goodness and then we need. A finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. See? More people are joining us because they want to talk about chocolate. What's that one? Poor Mark. Thanks, Drew Hayler. The walnut on a walnut whip. Where's oh it gone? Oh, my God. The walnut on a walnut whip. Did you used to use your tongue whip. to take it all out? Always. So that's why you've got a blister on your Always. tongue. Always. And then I would nibble all around. And then I liked the thick bit at the bottom. Did anyone ever have a coffee walnut whip? Yeah, I did. My I did, yeah. That was very good. Please, can we get a walnut whip tomorrow? They're not like they used to be. The cream inside them isn't what it used to be. And this morning. Milka, 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 milka all the way. Oh, I love milka. Ange K, rum and raisin chocolate. Yes. Where did I get that? Old Jamaican chocolate. Yes. It was called, and it was in an orange. My dad always got that. It was an orange wrapper, and the foil was gold. Helen H, where are you? Where are you? I just saw it go up. Helen H just said... The Yorkie, the Yorkie biscuit raisin one. No, biscuit. the raisin one. What was the Yorkie ad? 
It was a big truck. We like trucking. We like trucking. We like trucking and we like to truck. Ferrero Rocher. How did that oh, advert go? We asked for champagne. Oh, no, champagne. What were the... Do you remember the ice yeah. cream ones? What was that? Vianetta. Do you remember Viennetta. the Vianetta advert? I always remember thinking it was remarkable. Vianetta is proper rubbish ice cream, isn't it? It's just Caramac, little... Ashley Gardner. No, we talked about this last week and we all said we fancied the bunny rabbit. No, that's Caramac. And it was Miriam Margolis who was the voice. Yeah, as soon as I found out it was Miriam, Miriam Margolis, my entire young we like, no. prepubescent fantasies went out the window. No. Tunnock's tea cake. How do, you, how do you eat your Tunnock's tea cake? I clip off the chocolate so I get you all the dome off, dome off at once. You scalp the and marshmallow. Then I, and then I go, <gasps> with the marshmallow. Sometimes I nearly died because I choked him and blocked my windpipe. And then I go like that and I scrape the jam bit off. Then I nipple all the chocolate from the edge. Then I lick do you it do all this moving bottom. your head like that? Do you move any other then part I of your body? Then I lick it all off the bottom and then I put a hungry bit and I go like that. Every single movement and every single moment of that could have resulted in me choking to death. So nobody... But nobody try that at home. You might have a strong idea now as to why I stayed with her. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate bounty. I don't remember that. Oh, yes, in the red packet. Oh, yes, in the red packet. Bounty, always peel off all the chocolate. Chocolate raisins are my favourite. Throw it up in the air and try and catch Ali it. Ali Prentice, the Pink Panther pink chocolate. Oh, maybe actually violently sick. <laughs> Is it? <there? laughs> I'm so. You're just ahead. You're just ahead. Um, Made me violently uh, thick. Uh, Made me violently uh, thick. Uh, Tunnock's tea cake. Well, we've done that. What was the other one that Tunnock's did? Oh, the my Tunnock's... God. The one that you could only get in the milkman. In the milk. Of the milk. Of the milkman. What, the one in the wrapper? Yeah. Did you know that a spaceman... They sell 32 million of them every day in Scotland. But did That's you know that a on Tunnock's... One of those... What are they called? The Tunnock's wafer. One of those Tunnock's wafer is the only biscuit to have gone into space. Oh, yeah. That's just, this is true. <laughs> Why are you just say? Oh, oh, yes, this is true. I was joining you in trying to. Find. Yeah, it did. They fired a Tunnock's, Tunnock's wafer into After Eight. <laughs> Heather, Ken, what was the advert for After Love Eight? After Eight. Nibble all around the edge and then suck out the middle. <laughs> what about the After Eight? <laughs> Mark. 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 You're going to be this old woman Mark. one day. Mark. Mark. Listen, if there's any, I can see quite a few new snowballs. names here. Ma oh, I love a snowball. Make sure you click the subscribe button and yes, the notification Joe button. Because you'll miss out on the films if you don't. Joe Bloggs, Leanne McGarvey, Jane M. A caramel Vier log, de Jane M. A caramel oh, log. Vieux de Paris. Milky Bar Kid is back in town. The Milky Bar Kid is gone. A Milky Bar Kid is Nestle's Milky Bar. When did it become Nestle? Judy Phillips says, after eight is a fancy peppermint patty. Break your pardon, I like that. Judy. I'm always going to call them a peppermint patty. I love a peanut chocolate. Ellie Picard, we have already I love had this conversation. Anything with peanuts, peanut butter. Look, Ellie Picard, we've already had this convo. No, but we, we like it. We need to do crisps. We have it regularly. Ma! I literally hate your guts. <laughs> that was so... Are you seven? <laughs> I'm going to leave you now. Please do. Milky Bar Kid is tough and young. And if it's in, it's in I'm, I'm really enough. ruining the front of my teeth from grinding them. It's so bad. That's a little joyful. Nadia is delirious. Delirious. Cream Ooh. eggs? Tell us how you eat a cream egg. No, you know, I've told you that last week. I smash it on the table and then I eat it in one mouthful. So disgusting. Ketchup! Mark. <laughs> Please try and grow up a little bit. Arctic Rolls. Reese's Pieces. Reese's picnic. Pieces. Ah, hang on. Kim McKay, picnic is the best. Why? Because it's no, got it's not. raisins in it. Yes, no, it is. There's you a real like problem a with picnic, bar. and I'll tell you exactly what, what it is. What is it? The peanuts are unroasted. That's a and I'm a pernickety. cook. It Amber should be Grindley, roasted. Revel. Ruffle she bar, Lynn Aoki, a ruffle bar. What's a ruffle bar? It's like a pink cherry coconut and chocolate and we, it's small and you could steal it into the class and We eat promise it. not to do any more chocolate chats, but what I think we must do... No, I'm not promising Hang not on, to have listen, chocolate listen. I'm going to have a chocolate chat every listen, week. Listen, can we watch the adverts? Because it's so compelling to watch and we'll show it with them. Yeah. Yeah? 
do a watch along. We'll do a watch along. We'll, we'll do a. I love chocolate bars. I like to stick them together. It has to be both flat sides together, and then I put them in the roof of my mouth and I suck them until they've gone. There you go. It's negative, but can't believe it has had symptoms. It was quite ill. Claire Ross Reed. Yes, but don't forget, as they say, plenty of people have had it, but they will get proved negative to the antibody test because they've had a different coronavirus antibody fight it. There you go. See, as soon as you talked about coronavirus, it went up. No, See? it's because we were talking about... Top it. Praline flake were the best. I don't remember praline flake. Oh, I'd love a praline flake. So, guys, tomorrow morning, we will see you. What day is it tomorrow? Friday. Oh, look, so we've had 300 thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Give us some more. Give us some more thumbs up, please. Uh, we'll see you at the normal time tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for um, Coffee Moaning. Let's see what's happened in the news. And... Uh, and, uh, and welcome to all the new uh, members to the family yeah. guest area. There's a little square underneath here. If you want to join, you can just click click on that for extra content. And can we also... Uh, are you cooking at four tomorrow? Ashley says there used to be a chocolate bar called Old Dick. Did there? Of course, I'll be cooking at four tomorrow. See me here at four o'clock. Ashley Gardner says vote, 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 vote for our podcast. Oh, first thing tomorrow morning, a really, oh, really... Oh, my God. Check out our podcast Really good morning. podcast tomorrow morning. Confessions of a Modern Parent. Talking about Spliff. The link is below. Check it out. It lands at approximately 2.30am, bizarrely. But... And then when you've listened to it, if you liked it, can you hit the like button and vote for us on the podcast awards? Oh, someone's just asked, has anyone heard from Monster Mash? Has she had a baby? She was due to go in, wasn't she, any minute? Yes. Yes. If anyone knows, let us know. Or she Monster was the Mash. mash. She, she was did the, the monster, monster mash. mash. Did the yeah, mash. we want to see your baby we did the monster, monster mash. mash. We did, did the mash. mash. We did the, the monster, monster mash. mash. We did the monster mash.